There's no need for manners or courtesy or anything today, so let it all hang out. And welcome back to more Persona 4 Arena. We're about to go ahead and progress through the P1 Grand Prix and Thug with our red capes. <laughs> when I open my eyes again, the first thing I can see is a high ceiling. I get to my feet and look around. Basketball hoops, the ground lined with white tape and folding chairs stacked high into the air. Is this a gym? What I'm seeing now isn't matching what I expected to be seeing. If my memory's correct, I entered the TV with Mitsuru and Haigis. Is this what's inside of the TV? Is this how I really talk in my head? I sound like a fake ripoff of myself? Anyway, everything looks extremely real, but I sense odd presences nearby. I brace myself inside this oddly quiet gym and prepare to thug with my red cape. This feeling in the air reminds me of somewhere though. I felt this harsh atmosphere before. I dig through my memories. That's right, this is what Tartarus felt like. The tower full of shadows where we did battle three years ago. Since this area is unfamiliar, and I'm assuming hostile, there's no knowing when an enemy may attack. But waiting around to get ambushed isn't really my thing. It's time for me to get moving. Just as I think that... Teddy? What in the world is that? A bizarre object approaching me from further inside the gym. Huh? There's a weird guy in a cape. <laughs> bizarre creature. <laughs> they don't. They don't say Teddy. They say bizarre creature. That's hilarious. Where did they say able to communicate with me? Uh, you think you've got the right to call me weird? <laughs> you seem suspicious. How rude! I'll say the same back to you. Being half naked and wearing a cape is totally suspicious. <gasps> Could this be the pervert I've heard rumors about? My innocence is in danger. <laughs> You're making no sense Call at all. Call him a pervert. Who are you? Oh, don't tell me. Are you a shadow? Kind of a shadow. Huh? I'm Teddy. Teddy. So you are a shadow. You know, I, I want to know if they ever will actually go into depth with what Teddy actually is. How he was able to take a human form and everything from a shadow. I just said I'm Teddy! Teddy! It's easy! Uh, no bear has fur that color. Or can talk. How cruel! I'm an adorable, sexy beast, no matter what angle you're looking from! Teddy Teddy? Does that mean he's like a bear or something? There's only a monitor nearby springs to life. What appeared on it was red, blue, and round. It's another bear thing, or to be exact, it was another Teddy Teddy. <laughs> he says Teddy Teddy. I can't have you wandering about on your own. You're such a troublesome bear. You're the troublesome one! How dare you do whatever you want while looking like me! It's a violation of my image rights! <laughs> a violation? <laughs> I love that. What's going on? Are you twins or something? Huh? I've discovered an unknown half-naked cape. <laughs> Keep calling him half naked. An intruder. 
unexpected, unexpected. I love it. Suddenly, the sound and image on the monitor get corrupted. And then dubstep starts playing. <laughs> just dubstep just starts playing after that. That'd be hilarious. Once again, it was Teddy Teddy. This is just too confusing. I'm just going to refer to TV Bear as Bear number two. People in a lot of overseas coaches and suffix is like the second or the great onto their kids' names. So I figure I'll go with something similar. <laughs> he starts speaking Case clearly. Case 04, unintended intruder. Entering elimination process. Elimination, huh? I don't really have any clue what was going on yet. But I do know that beer number two had just won the right to be the first out here to taste my fist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've seen enough. Looks like you're the enemy here, bear number two. I'm not sure how much stock I should put in common sense while I'm in this TV world. But if you're using the PA system, I'm guessing that there needs to be some kind of control booth for it. Since I'm in some kind of school, that must mean I'm going to find bear number two in the announcement room. Smart Akihiko. He found that out on the first As try. You, Teddy Teddy. He seems to be your enemy too. Why don't you step down and let me handle it? Boy. No way! What? I mean, who are you? You haven't even told me your name. And that bear might be a bad guy who tricked my beloved sensei and friends. I can't leave this in the hands of a half-naked cape man like you. Teddy Teddy looks surprisingly resolute as he refuses my offer. Well, your costume is strange. I do like that fire in your eyes. What's that supposed to mean? It sounds perverted coming from a half-naked <laughs> cape guy. Hey, I have a name. It's Akihiko Sonata. You don't have to call me half-naked cape guy. And I know I can't prove I'm on your side just by saying so. So judge for yourself whether I'm worthy of your trust. Da -da -da -da. In the ring. Da -da -da -da. You're that excited to do this? Da -da -da -da. Fists don't lie, you know? Now come on, and I'll give you everything I got. Talking with our red capes on. Talking with our red capes on. Yeah, 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 Come, persona! Talking with our red capes, talking with our red capes, talking with our red capes on. Alright. Let's go ahead and place a bookmark, save the game, and whoop Teddy's ass. Now, Akihiko is a mobile character. He has multiple tools he can use to get through stuff, get through bullshit. I don't know, everybody has something to get through bullshit in this game. Like, there's no way you can actually complain unless you, unless there's loops. Mm. Okay. There's a way to launch him, I forgot. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> That's a beastie, I like his, I like his, it looks so beast mode. Caesar! All right, Teddy officially just got on. <laughs> the intruder is a persona user. Difficulties in elimination. Acknowledging as valid target. Okay. Bear number two is murdering something on the other side of the monitor. Persona user? Are you talking about me? What do you mean by valid target? 
Irregularity has occurred. Multiple intruders detected. Emergency. Emergency. Oh, I know. I've just had a fun idea. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Who is this guy? One thing's for sure, and that is. I need the information right now. Of course, everybody needs the information. Hey, Teddy Teddy, wake up. He keeps calling him Teddy Teddy, that's funny. No, Kanji, you're crushing me to death. What's going on through this guy's Teddy, head? Teddy, wake up. Smack Teddy Teddy a little more forcefully this time. Damn, he destroyed him. Well, it makes sense since I did Astro finish him. Or instant kill. Hey! If you hit me so hard, you'll ruin my beautiful coat of fur! That's creepy walk. looking, man. And it's just Teddy, not Teddy Teddy. This is gonna be a pain. Teddy Pursuit. What is that? I can't read that word. I think it's a P right there. It's blended in too well. Teddy. Purses his lips and looks away with a huff. I wanted to demonstrate my sincerity with my fist. There's no doubt I did that. <laughs> then again, considering how badly flattened he is right now, I guess it's understandable that he doesn't want to talk to me. Well, maybe I went a little too far. Let me at least talk to you. I have important business here too. I need as much information as I can get. Aren't you going to say sorry? Don't push your luck. Or I'll pull out all your fur. <laughs> I was just joking! Jeez, you sounded like you Kiko there for a second. Well, I am a knowledgeable bear, so I'll make an exception for you and listen. Hey, I'm the one who won. <laughs> when does he get off with this attitude? First off, what kind of world is this? This, it's the TV world. It's a TV world. <laughs> and then he gets back to his regular appearance. He's like a big stress ball. That's hard to believe. But even if that's true, why does it look like this? Is this supposed to be a school or something? This is probably the school that Yosuke and the others go to. It's a real place? Probably the school that Yosuke goes to. He was there, wasn't he? Yosuke, or not Yosuke, but uh, Teddy was there. So he should already know that this is the school that they go to. He was actually there. When I played Persona 4, Teddy was there. So many days at school. This world changes whenever someone comes here. I'm not sure why it's a school now, though. It changes when people come here. I used to live here for a long time, so I saw it happen a lot. You lived here? Well, does that mean you're from this world? What are you? <laughs> That's, uh... Teddy starts clamming up all of a sudden. He's... Started getting nervous when I blurted out the realization that he was living in a world and that he wasn't human. Baron's about being different from humans, huh? He definitely, he definitely doesn't look human, but it's easy enough to overlook. <sighs> There's so much I don't understand. But I can at least say I'm pretty sure you're no threat. Of course not! I'd never cause anyone any trouble! If you know this world so well, does the name fifth generation. Labrys sound familiar? I've never heard of it. Every day's great at Juness. I usually spend my time there. <laughs> Every day's great at Juness. When I came to, I was locked up here. I managed to escape though. Hmm. So Teddy was forced in here too. We gotta play his theory mode next. Only to find that an imposter Teddy was causing a bunch of trouble with his P1 Grand Prix. <laughs> He was bummed out a minute ago, now his face is bright red and there's steam pouring out of his head. That guy who showed up on screen looked exactly like you. He calls himself a general. El General. But don't confuse me for that phony. The real Teddy is made of all natural bear fur. If that was someone in disguise, there must be a reason he's trying to look like you. Ooh, I know. It must be because he's jealous that Sensei and everyone love me the most. <laughs> I don't think that's the case, but... Uh, he's not one one millionth as cute as me. Anyone can tell he's a fake. Yeah, it's totally obvious. I recall what Teddy said about the Midnight Channel earlier. Some of the things that happen in this war are broadcast to the outside world. If that's the case, then misinformation may be spread. And people could be confused or missled. As I quickly turn on my Akihiko impression. At this moment, I'm not sure what 
why someone would be intentionally causing such confusion. Confusion. But this Teddy guy, this Teddy guy mentioned that his friends were here. All right, one last question. You said you used to live here. You know how to get out? Of course. That was one of my specialties. I always helped other people when they needed to leave. But it's not working here for some reason. I'm losing my confidence. This is one bear of a headache. Ooh, that was an advanced joke. <laughs> <laughs> This is no laughing matter. You won't be able to get out like this. That sure was advanced. That wasn't advanced at all. <laughs> he did give me valuable information. Though I now have someone of a grasp of the situation. My main objective is retrieving Labrys. That's it. You're coming with me. I'm assuming that I'm probably going to need this guy's help in getting out of here. Tear what off? Hey! You almost made me lose my head! Ignoring the huge fuss Teddy's making, I reach over towards where Teddy's stuck. But I don't feel anything. Guess I have to try again. I pull back on Teddy's head towards me with my full strength. <laughs> He's definitely stuck on something. Huh? Looks like there's a wall that I can get through, but you can't. What a bizarre place this is. Says the half-naked kid guy who pulled in my head so hard it almost came off! Guess what she's... wait... what? Oh well, I'll have to leave you here. Make sure you don't go anywhere alone, you hear me? I can't burn any more time here. I won't let you abandon me! I get lonely real fast! I'm coming with you, <laughs> An enormous crash re... rever... reverberate... reverberates... Throughout the area? Re Rev. Reverberates. You know, I don't even know. So, I'm gonna slowly skip over this. <laughs> Sorry. I'll come back for you when all this is settled. Just hang tight, Teddy. I know it's a tough situation. And for the sake of Teddy and his friends, I will save Gotham. Because I'm Maki Hiko. When I step outside the gym, I hear a cheer from somewhere. Yasagami High School. I remember seeing that name in the report on Inaba. So what Teddy told me about this place being scenery ma- Uh-huh. Yep. Unnecessary. Ladies and gentlemen, what will the next match be like? An abrupt, confusing school announcement. Shields arise from somewhere seemingly in response to the announcement. Wow, this is one fired up crowd! Hi everyone! I, Rizette, will be your commentator. But first, the general would like to say a few words. The mic's all yours, sir! What the hell? That took a long time. As if answering the commotion, the monitor set up and the center turns on. <laughs> well then, I'm proud to announce the opening of our very own P1 Grand Prix! Presenting the manliest of all men! Kanji. Oh, so you've come this far. I applaud your bravery in not running away. Still hiding behind the monitor? It's about time you showed up in person. I'll crush you. Nope. Sorry, but I'm not falling for a cheap ploy like that. You better follow the rules. Allow me to explain. The P1 Grand Prix is a one-on-one -on -one battle. Those who are paired off must fight. Only the winner may move on. Only the winner may move on? Then the invisible wall that Teddy ran into with his face must be part of the concept, contest this guy set up. <laughs> Interesting. Who are you going to make me fight? Who are they? I don't have to answer that. Sorry, but I don't have time to play along. I'm taking back Labrys. You are? Huh? His general on the screen looks shocked by my words. He'd been evasive or just laughed at anything I said until now, but this obvious struck a little nerve. I don't think everything's gonna be that easy for you. 
Ah. You mentioned Labyrinth and got mad. You mad, bro? I'm not exactly sure if it's specifically an antagonizing, but it seems he definitely knows something about Labyrinth. It won't be easy, huh? Whatever. I never expected it to be. I already knew he grew up as an orphan, son. The pain of loss is my social determination. I must stay strong in order to protect those who are precious by my side right now, because I'm Akihiko. <laughs> I proceed through the school building, and after climbing a number of stairs, I noticed something odd. This place is bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. This is what I'd figure another world would be like. Huh. I reach towards an upcoming corner, and I come in contact with an invisible wall. I pull all my strength into that strike, but the wall barely gave at all. It wouldn't be a smart way of expending my energy. That's when something catches my eye. A window. <laughs> when I reach towards it, the invisible wall doesn't impede my progress. I knew it. Whoever set this up only thought about blocking people's paths. Anywhere there already was a real wall got overlooked. I'm not obligated to play by the enemy's gimmicks, but if they want me to go that way, maybe I can gain an advantage by taking the route they didn't expect. Then I'll just go another way. Put my hand on the window frame and jumps outside, and that's when Chie seen him jump out the window. I wonder if any of these story modes are really that connected, though. I don't think they are that connected, but some of them do have little connections, but some of them variate so much, especially you or... I guess in, uh, not I guess, but, um, Chies and Yu's, they variate so much. Whoa, what the? Who are you? Buff young man. <laughs> There's another visitor inside the room. He's a well built, young, well built young man in a school uniform. Huh? You're that guy from the video. Did you just come falling from up there? What's going on? Answer me! I remember now. You're the. The blood curdling beefsteak emperor. Hell no, come on! Did you even try to remember my name? <laughs> so that P1 Grand Prix thing has already started. I recall the rule that those who encounter each other must fight each other. The journal said that the only way the winner can succeed is to win. Hey, take off your clothes. What the? <laughs> that was so unexpected. What the hell? Ask that straight out. What's wrong with what I said? Won't it be hard to maneuver wearing that? Oh, no, Akihiko, you sound so wrong right now, maneuver? bro. <laughs> Why is he getting all flustered? His face is red. Maybe he's just not feeling well. What are you all flustered for? I'm talking about your jacket. If you don't wear it right, it'll get in your way during the fight. <laughs> My jacket? You just said that to begin with? <laughs> you said it. Take your clothes off. <laughs> Take your top off. There's no real meaning behind this. It's like just the way I wear it. <laughs> it's plain weird. Says the guy who's half naked except for a cape. <laughs> Seriously, you're ridiculous. It's bad manners to jump out a window like that. Juno makes a disgusted face and seems to be pretty upset about the mucking up of his plan. Sorry to say, I've never been big on manners. Too bad things didn't go your way. <laughs> we'll see if you can keep that attitude up for long. You must fight whoever you're paired with. Now get started! I understand that, but I can't attack someone who doesn't have the urge to fight. I turn towards Kanji to spur on him, but his expression is completely different than it was before. You keep saying the weirdest crap. Looks like I'll have to make you leave. Let's get this started, KP! What, now you're interested? Alright, come and get me. You're not really strong anyway. You're just a fake. Nothing worthy about it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Shut up! Try to ask yourself that. Here it goes. Honey, he called him a fake. That was weird. He called him a fake. Alright, so after the kanji fight, I will go ahead and split this video. Why'd he call him a fake? That was weird.
two strongest Persona users in the game. Whoa, he just grabbed me from that distance? Ah, oh, damn it, I guess I messed up the info. Oops. Oh, damn it. Oh, nice! Oh, my face! My face! Oh, it's over now. Wow! The computer has the best input technique. Goodbye. You screwed up Kanji badly. <laughs> Even Kanji knows he screwed up. <laughs> as soon as he got grabbed, I screwed up. <laughs> Smoked him. Smoked that guy. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this part a little bit short. And then once we come back, we will begin more Persona 4 Arena. So I will see you guys later. Peace out.